And from a very early stage, we could gather as children that in our country there is something wrong. And that was caused by, you know, the fact that we couldn't do other things that white children and white parents were doing. We couldn't be in the same, same place. We couldn't take uh, the same bus. If we take a bus, we must go upstairs and that. But, but also, I mean, without being told as children, we could sense that there was something wrong. And as I grow older, of course, uh, with Group Areas Act, with army in our townships, with schools that only have black people, no white people, no, no brown people. Uh, clearly, we, we, we started feeling that there's something wrong. But I think what, more than anything for me, was the fear of being 16 year old. Because then, once you are 16, you must have a, a something, your, your identity, which was not seen as an identity, but as a passbook that must always be around your neck. If you don't have that, and the police come to you and ask for that, and you don't have that passbook, at that age of 16, you will go and be arrested. So those are some of the things that by the time I was 16, 18, uh, definitely I knew there was something wrong. And it's at that age that we started to protest against whatever that was happening in, in our area.